Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Paula and I'm a 22 year old college student and single mommy of one baby girl. I work full time as a nurse's assistant and I have recently begun a journey to become debt free in order to provide a better, more fulfilling life for me and my daughter. One where we are more than comfortable financially and don't ever have to go without. So if that sounds like something you can get behind, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of our progress on our journey to financial freedom. So yes, today we are going to be cash stuffing the first paycheck of January and then at the end we are going to be doing a debt update so you guys know where and how my money has been moving this week. So yes, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is count this money. So here we should have $700 to stuff today, so let's go ahead and count it and organize it make sure everything is here and proper. So yes, how are you guys doing this week? Today was my first day of nursing school. I'm filming this on Monday the 8th. So it was my first day of nursing school. I've had my first two classes and they went pretty well. But anyways, let's go ahead and count really quick and we'll get into that a little bit later. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, 600, 620, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 700 dollars. So let's go ahead and organize this really quick. But yes, it was my first day of nursing school ever. Um, and it was pretty exciting. It was a little bit nerve wracking, but it went well. I only had two classes. It wasn't anything crazy. Um, the first class was good. Um, I knew two people. Well, I basically knew three people in the class already, so that was good. And everybody was like really cool. Like the vibe is really cool. It, it kind of seems like everybody kind of wants to get to know each other kind of thing as well. For the most part, like I see everybody like kind of kiki, ha ha, you know, all of that stuff. And I'm like, I know they don't know each other. So I'm like, that's awesome to see. It's definitely, you know, giving cohort how it's supposed to be a nursing school. You know, when you're in college and you have classes with other people, it's not necessarily like that. Everybody's out for themselves. But here in nursing school, I think we all know like the benefit of togetherness. And so that's just how we are approaching this semester. Just kind of like bowing a little bit. I don't know why we're playing games here anyways. So we have our $700 here. So let's go ahead and start stuffing the first envelope that we are going, well, not envelope, the first binder that we are gonna go ahead and stuff this week is going to be my cash envelopes binder. So here's my cash envelopes binder. This is basically my weekly allotment for spending. So let's get in here and look at this. Let's do it, let's do it. So first we have gas. Gas this week is gonna go ahead and get $35. Let's see how much we have left over. We have $30. This week I was kind of like hodgepodging like my expenses. Like I don't even know where the $5 for this went. I think that went to tip to like when I ate out. Like I don't even know what was going on this week. Like I was just kind of like not spending money but like they were coming out of categories that they were not necessarily supposed to be coming out of because I was like, I don't feel like getting gas. So let me just take this $5 out of here to give for a cash tip. I don't know it was just that's how the week was going so that's how things happened so gas like i said is going to get 35 so i'm going to put a 20 a 10 and a 5. so you have a 20 a 10 and a 5. i'm not on e but we're getting down to like you know 100 miles left for my range so i'll probably go get go ahead and get gas tomorrow but yeah last week was the week you know right before nursing school started so I wanted to chill out as much as possible I worked a lot last week I don't remember like I, I don't even remember I don't know I think I think I think I did a three a three by twelve I think I did three days and yeah they still haven't got my schedule fixed um for this Thursday so I'm gonna have to continue to contact them about that because I really don't want to have to call out um, they're giving me the option to use PTO now, which is fine because I'm like, let me go ahead and use my PTO up. So hopefully that's going to work out. I don't want to have to call out. Um, but yes, yeah, so moving on to restaurants, we are going to put 25 in here today. There is $10 left in here. Yeah, like I, just don't even ask me why I didn't use this to tip the waitress. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> this week we're going to put a 20 and a 5 in here. A 20 and a 5. Um, And yeah. 
So like I said, nursing school went well. It was really actually kind of boring today. Like it's exciting that like we're in nursing school, but like it was just basic orientation, like how the classes work. And we basically talked about that during nursing school orientation. So I'm just really interested and looking forward to getting into like the nitty gritty of things, like actually learning the content. We kind of did that today in pharmacology, but it was just like, we were learning med ca dose calculations and just like the math behind everything. And I'm like, that was, that wasn't giving, but you know, moving on, moving forward, I'm really looking forward to learning the concepts and all of the foundational skills that we need to be like a good nurse. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, we have baby girl here. Um, baby girl this week is going to go ahead and get $20. I believe there's only a 20 in here. So we're just going to keep this beautiful pretty 20 in here and let it be. Um, so yes, 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 yes. Okay, then we have spa. Spa this week is gonna get zero. I'm just gonna leave this in here because I'm gonna go and get my nails done tomorrow. I don't have lab this Friday. It starts next Friday and then clinicals don't start for another like two weeks. So I'm good to have like my nails done. I'm not gonna get acrylics. I'm just gonna get this acrylic buffed off and then get like a nice coat of paint on there, just like regular paint so that it's gonna be really easy to take off. Um, and so hopefully that works out how that needs to work out. So I just have $110 in here. I'm hoping that's enough for a manicure and a pedicure, but we shall see. But yeah, so I'm just gonna leave this in here this week. So technically it's getting 110, but it was 110 from last week and that's just gonna stay in there until I use it. We then have adventures. Nothing is going here in adventures. Yeah. We'll figure her out at some other point. I'm looking forward to doing things with Honora and my family moving forward, um, but just not right now while I'm trying to get adjusted to nursing school, adjusted to everything else. And yes, moving on, we have necessities. Necessities this week is gonna go ahead and get $35. So let's see how much is in here. Where are we? Okay, so we have two here because my brother, it's his first day on campus we go to the same university now um he got his associate's degree from a community college and now he's going to get a degree in mechanical engineering and he just had no idea like what was going on and he had to go get an id so like i was about to give him this 20 but it turned out it was free so that was fantastic and yeah he still he still is on campus like his classes are from 9 a.m to like 6 p.m so I, like i feel bad for him but like you have to do what you gotta do fam you know what i'm saying he has four classes and i really hope that he does amazing this semester because he needs good grades okay but um yeah so i'm just i'm a little bit anxious about him because you know he's i don't know i'm very like kind of mama bird over him mama bear mama bird yeah anyways um they're equivalent right but yes i'm definitely like a little bit anxious i wasn't able to really give him a proper tour because everything was closed but anyways i hope he's doing well um moving on like i said there's only 25 left in here but this is getting 35 so i'm just gonna put a fresh 20 10 and 5 in here and we're just gonna call it a day so it's 20 a 10 and a 5 and we're just gonna move on from here and that's what we're gonna put in necessities for this week i don't anticipate spending any money um, like I said, I'm trying to get my PTO day for that Thursday and then I'll just be working for the rest of the week. Um, I might spend money on food when I go on Wednesday, but I don't know. I might just take some snacks. It really wasn't that strenuous, like of a day where it's like, oh, I need brain food type of thing, you know? Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully the lighting is fine. It's really gloomy today. I don't want to turn the light on because sometimes the natural light with the camera exposure, like it looks fine. Um, so I don't want to ruin that if it looks good. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> So let me see if we have any coins in here. I don't think we do. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, we have a couple of coins. But yes, like I said last week, I loved hearing you guys, um, y'all's words for the new year. I would love to know what are some of y'all's like goals for the new years or like what y'all are doing differently in the new year. Just like, 
I want to call them like resolution, but not everybody likes like the term resolution because I'm like, I'm not necessarily doing any resolutions per se, but like I do have goals and I do have things that I want to do differently in my life, but I wouldn't say it's a resolution because I feel like resolution has like a really weird stigma because a lot of people don't stick to their resolutions. So I'm like, I don't want to call it that. But yes, what do you guys have planned for this year? What are some of your goals, money goals, house goals, like, like life goals, personal goals, whatever. What are some of y'all's goals for this year? And like, what are y'all trying to do differently this year than y'all have done in the past? Like, I'm just really interested in knowing that. Um, I haven't really sat down and like written down like, oh, exactly what I want to do and how I plan on doing things and how I plan on like switching things up just yet I like I'm kind of behind the eight ball because like working and school and getting stuff ready for nursing school and then Honora she's sick again right now she's like throwing up I don't know I think she had some food that didn't agree with her but she's been sick for a couple of days now and she just got four shots so it could be like the natural regression that babies get when you get a couple of shots I don't know but I'm just like girl it's been just a little much and then y'all know we're moving we secured a property so now i'm looking at like furniture to get and stuff like that so i just haven't had like a lot of time to just like sit down and really go over my goals and what i hope to accomplish this year but i know one of the main things is obviously like getting good grades in nursing school i want to start my weight loss journey like officially is anybody else out here trying to lose weight like let's be in this together like in our financial journey together girl and our weight loss journey together because your girl has got to get this weight down like i am in extremely like not extremely like big but like I'm too big for like myself at this point you know what I'm saying like I've gotten to a point where I'm kind of like uncomfortable it's actually painful um and I don't I don't enjoy it I've always struggled with my weight um my literal like entire life um and so it'd be nice to just get like a handle on things once and for all um, especially while I'm still like on the younger side because especially now that I've had a baby like your body changes and things become stubborn and now I have like the the mommy tummy you know y'all you know what I'm talking about so yes I'm just like I want to get this stuff figured out before it's like much 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 harder than it needs to be but yeah I'm like I'm the biggest I've ever been I'm actually basically at my pregnancy weight so when I was six months pregnant about to give birth I was basically 10 pounds lighter than I am right now so yeah so that's really cute um so we'll see how that goes like I said I'm looking forward to doing that getting good grades in nursing school and that's pretty much what it is right now I obviously have goals for like um my social media channels and stuff like that but like I said I haven't really sat down and pinpointed and all of that stuff but just like my personal life goals is really big on school and my personal weight loss journey and then um you know just being the best mom that i can be for nora and like getting her into the couple of sports and stuff like that that i want to do to make sure that her life is nice and enriching so anyways let's move on to my um debt picture that was just a little segue like i said let me know down below i love seeing and hearing you guys's words for the new year but what are some of y'all's resolutions i really feel like i want to turn the light on but i don't want to turn the light on i'll probably have to turn the light on when i bring out my ipad anyways moving on so let's go ahead and get into this binder this is my foundational binder y'all know all about this this is the binder that i pay like my debt off and has my long-term savings and stuff like that so yes let's go ahead and open this so that we can go ahead and count how much money we're gonna be able to contribute towards debt this week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my calculator, put it right here so we can all see. And then I'm gonna just organize this a little bit because I like to have this organized when I go to count it, everything in its proper home. But yeah, those are just like two of my major goals this year. Um, I have a lot of like little goals, but like I said, like they're in my head. I haven't conceptualized them too much, like down on writing and like on paper. And like, I don't remember them all the time, but like I have snippets like, oh yeah, I want to do this. And oh yeah, I want to do that. And oh yeah, that's that's a good goal for this year. And that's, that's my plan or that's a part of my plan. But I haven't sat down and like put it, put a framework behind it. So I'll probably be doing that soon but like I'm always doing something I always have something to do so I'm like I really also need to prioritize like 
getting my schedule together, getting productive and not being lazy and um, just being very efficient with my time and all the time that I have with my day. Like just be very, very, very efficient with it, whether I'm working or going to school or taking care of my daughter or whatever else. So yes, moving on, let's go ahead and count this money. Um, this is going to be what we are able to contribute towards debt this week. And like I said, we'll go over the calculations and my actual debt picture once we calculate how much we're going to be able to contribute this week. So yes, first and foremost, we have our 100. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400. So we have 400. We have our 50s. We have two 50s. So that's going to be plus 100. Then we have some 20s here, quite a few. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 120. So we have plus 120. And then we have our 10s here. So we have 10, 20, and $30. So plus 30. And then we have some fives here. So we have 5, 10, 15, and $20 worth of fives. So plus 20. So that means we have $670 that we are going to be contributing towards debt this week. So let's go over my complete debt picture so that we can see what is going where. And yes, so as y'all know, I like to just move this over here. I don't like trying to put this in my little debt envelope because it's going to break it because it's just too thick. So I don't have time for breaking my envelopes, my pretty beautiful envelopes. So moving on, let's go ahead and grab my iPad. And let me see what happens with this lighting really quick. It's not too dark, but I am going to turn the light on just so. Um, let's maybe do that one just so it's, you know, not like all centralized. Anyway, so we have $670. So we're going to do debt contribution. So yes, I'm turning back into an iPad girly. I'm so excited. I was taking hella notes um, for my class this morning. Anyways, moving on. Let me, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this. So we have debt contribution. So that is going to be $670 this week. Wonderful. So we had the Apple last week. That's paid off. So I'm not going to add that. We have the Capital One currently sitting at $645 even. So let's put the Capital One on here. Y'all know that I paid this off, but then I put um, Anora's photos on here. This is not due until February. Um, but I want to just put some money towards it. So this week we're going to put a hundred dollars towards this one, um, because my mom gave me a hundred dollars to put towards her photos. So that's great. Like I said, I want to put majority of my money towards my bigger outstanding debt because that's accruing interest. This currently is not accruing interest because it's only been on here for like a week or two and I haven't gone past the pay period. So moving on, that's 670. So 670 minus 100 equals 570 left. I think that's how I did it, right? I don't know. I don't know. We have 570 left in general. So we have 570. I really write this different like every week. I, I'm so sorry. Um, so then we have our discover. Discover last week. We put $197 towards it, so it went down to $3,818 and a few cents. So I just rounded that to $3,819. So this is at $3,819. Yeah, this should go like underneath. So I, I, I don't know, but yeah, this is like backwards. Let me just put this down here, I guess. So we have, we have the discover next. Okay, whatever. So then we'll put 570 here. That's the rest of the money that we have that we can put towards debt this week. So that is gonna bring our total down to 3819 minus 570 
equals 3249. 3249 um, is going to be what our debt looks like after we put this money towards it this week. So that's exciting. So I'm putting at least 500 towards it. So let's go to our debt tracker so that we can go ahead and color everything in. Hmm. Okay, cool. So I know that we're coloring in at least five right now, and then we'll go ahead and calculate and make sure all the numbers are correct and accurate. So yes, and then I think I need, oh no, did I mess it up? I might've messed it up. I was like fidgeting with stuff during class, trying to get it how I wanted it for class. Um, and I don't know if I messed it up. I might have, but anyways, let's go ahead and color in at least five of these. And then we'll worry about the rest later. So, okay, yeah, no, that looks fine. That looks fine. So, yes, nursing school, like I said, it went good today. I didn't really know what the class was, but I found it. Gosh darn. Um, and yeah, things went well. Like I said, I'm still trying to get my schedule figured out. I definitely am going to go PR and I don't made my mind up. Um, the next, the schedule for the next six weeks has just came out. So I think I'll work that, but come March, that's when we move. And so I'm like, we move, I still have nursing school. Um, and so that's just going to be really hectic. So I'm like, I think I need to go PR in a little before that kind of moving month. So yeah. That is that. So that's why I'm like, I definitely think I'm going to go PR in, especially because they keep like messing with my schedule. And like, I, like I tell you that I don't have this availability. And because I try to take another day off, you're like, oh, well, I'm just going to throw you on this random Wednesday. I told you I can't work Wednesdays. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I have to go PR in in order to not be obligated to work a certain amount of hours a week. And that's just going to have to be what it is. Like I said, um, I don't want to stunt myself because I'm gonna get paid three times as much as a nurse. So I don't wanna mess up my opportunity to become a nurse just for, you know, money, like instant, like instant money kind of like right now. You know what I'm saying? Just like get debt paid down or whatever else. Um, it's nice to get my debt paid down. I wish it, I wish I didn't have this debt right now to pay down because it's kind of just slowly chugging along and it's not getting like irritating, but like, now that I'm, I feel like I'm in the home stretch, it just feels like it's, I don't know, it just feels like it's so much heavier. I don't know why when I had like six, seven, eight thousand, you know, my little chunks, I felt really good about them. But now it's just like, oh my gosh, it's just dragging type of thing, you know, it's just like, can we hurry up with this? But it's just like, I'm not getting paid enough for it to go much faster than what it's going, you know? One, two, three, four. So let's do one more and then we'll calculate. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling about that. And like I said, for the new year, um, my goals are to basically start my weight loss journey. So I'm really excited about that. I wanna start meal prepping. I've been looking forward to basically starting a weight loss journey since Honora has been born. And I have yet to do that. So I'm looking forward to doing that very, very soon. Um, I don't necessarily wanna sit here and wait until like we move. Um, to start because that's like what two months that I would just waste doing nothing um, What was this five five seven? Yeah But I'm just like girl. I just feel like I have so much going on right now You know because at least then but I'm like I think it's good to have things going on while you're trying to lose weight because then that distracts you from like how much you're not eating and like Your stomach growling y'all y'all know y'all y'all know the deal, right? Like Everybody has pretty much struggled with their weight at some point, whether it was opposite of me or not opposite. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and count these and make sure that these are right. So we have 28 plus 28, because that's how many are on these pages. So 28 plus, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Plus 9 equals 65 okay so I don't I did this backwards so this is 65 hold on yeah no I did it backwards I did it backwards I usually go and count the totals first 
Okay, see here, she's playing with me again. Moving on. So we have 625 plus, um, let me make sure. Please stop. 625. Okay, so 625 plus this 972. Okay. Plus 282. Plus 492. 92 plus plus 578. Okay, plus 654. Plus 654. Plus 468. Eight plus six hundred. Ooh, nice. You see that? The four. Oh, hold on. Let me add a thing there. Plus this eleven forty seven. That's really nice. Um, and then we have one ninety seven plus one ninety seven. Plus five seventy equals sixty five eighty five, which is good because we have sixty five of these bubbled in. So sixty five hundred divided by a hundred is sixty five bubbles. So we have bubbled in the correct amount here, which is wonderful. So yes, you guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And like I said, let me know what you guys' goals are for this upcoming year. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.